No waste your money on solar. No waste your money. No waste your money on solar. Solar my nonsense. Now listen. This is a silver. If in 2026 your solar setup still doesn't work, then you are the problem of yourself. I think I started this TikTok or this uh, public orientation of solar energy system or sharing uh, free uh, educational content on solar energy system since the last three years. And I, since I started that, a lot of people came up and started talking about solar also. So if in 2026, your solar energy system is still not working, then you are the enemy of yourself. Yeah. Now from this video, this person is a TikToker. He has been on social media. He has seen a lot of us. Now, to some reasons, maybe he don't like how I present my post. He decided to cheat again. I'm not saying he must come to me. He should have at least gone through my videos or other people's videos to learn about these things because we are the people that come out and tell you how this solar energy system is supposed to work and how you are supposed to go about it. We don't come to the internet and start running mouth telling you that one battery can power six ACs or one battery can power seven ACs. Most of these installers most of them are not after customer satisfaction i'm sorry to say this but most of the installers outside there because everybody now have jumped into solar installation they believe solar installation there is money so everybody have jumped into solar installation and that's why we have few of us on the internet that educate people on solar energy system so in 2026 if you are still getting your solar energy system wrong is either you are an enemy to yourself or you feel like we're giving you the free content are expensive and you cannot use us that is the sad reality this person is on internet now his system didn't work his expectation was too high if you like buy tesla as long as as long as you get it wrong from the one your solar energy system will not work if you like buy tesla or buy byd your system will still not work this is what most people don't understand now a lot of customers set their expectation so high and their budget so little it's just like somebody who go to buy toyota corolla and expecting uh, what an suv should do or a truck should do that is how most people that goes about uh, solar energy system does somebody today came to my dm i was like his budget is 3.5 million era he's looking for a setup of 15 kilowatt hour and he he wants to power his ac i told him the least i can do is 4.5 anything below that i can't go now he can go to another person and the person will tell him bring 3.2 million era and the person will actually install that for him if it doesn't work then he will come out and be like ah solar doesn't work so from the one know what you want know what you want to power do your research on the internet because a lot of people give you 15 kilowatt hour uh, system and make a lot of promise now from his video i understand that both him and the installer don't know what they are doing because from his inverter i can see what is coming from the solar panel is 95 volts and if you want your uh, system to work very well that voltage coming to uh, that your inverter or your mppt is low so your battery will not charge very well so try and get it right from the one. Know what you want. If your budget is not up to, go to the one your budget can afford, which is my message all the time. Buy the one you can afford and use it according to your agreement based on what you and the installer uh, agreed on. As you want to start your solar journey, know what you want. Uh, know your budget. Know what your budget can get. Don't go and set your expectations so high. You want to buy three ACs and your your budget is 1.5 million era. There are people outside that will collect that 1.5 million era and install that solar energy system for you to power the AC. And by the end of the day, it will not work. So know what you want, know your budget, and know what your budget can afford. And all this uh, up and down, we stop. Instead of coming to the internet and complaining, we have a lot of us on the internet. Maybe because of a consultation fee. Once you reach out and tell you pay for consultation fee, you feel like, ah, never mind. Now you will suffer it.